We all know Thomas Edison is well known for having created the light bulb, but did you know that it was actually African-American inventor Louis Latimer who made it more accessible by creating a stronger carbon filament? How about that? He's just one of the many black inventors who have made significant contributions to our society, and Kara decided to dive into some of those today in Things to Care About. Kara, I can't believe we are coming to the end of February. It's been an awesome Black History Month. We've tried to really uh, highlight some, not just um, special names uh, from uh, around the country, but also right here at home. And I love that today we're going to focus on inventors. Tell me more. Yes, I'm so excited I get to share this with you because it is things that we use every day, that we experience every day. And these black inventors have made our lives that much easier. So let's start with first traffic king, Garrett Morgan. Now, Garrett Morgan was tired of seeing so many traffic accidents because did you know it just used to be stop and go, but he saw a way to improve on it by adding a warning light, thus the yellow light, and the three-way signal, which greatly improved vehicle safety. Morgan sold the rights to General Electric for $40,000. No! Oh! Yeah. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. I could tell by the expression on your face. Uh, don't you hate that? Because back in the day, they pro they didn't probably have the right the representation right. or, you know, uh, guidance. Yeah. I, I will say, I, I thought that is, that stinks. But then I thought, think of how many lives he has oh, saved. Oh, I know. So he's got that going for him, which is good. Um, oh. This next one, speaking of lives saved, because many people have been given the gift of sight due to Patricia Bath. She is known as the eye expert, and here's what she invented. She's the exceptional woman who pioneered laser cataract surgery, okay? So the Howard University grad developed the laser that removes cataracts, making the procedure less painful. Get this, Christine, approximately 10 million people have this surgery worldwide every single year. Pretty Again, hard. these are things that we go through and experience each and every day, and these are the people that we have to thank for making our lives better. It's true. We've talked about this next person a few times since I've been at Atlanta & Company because I am amazed by all the things that he's done. Uh, bonafide genius, uh, Lonnie Johnson. Bonafide genius, Lonnie Johnson. He's done so many things. Sorry, I, I paused for a moment because what he is most known for is the modern day super soaker, right? I think yeah. he lives right here in the great state of Georgia. But um, yeah, he, he, what is now called the super soaker, it was called like the power driver at first or something, the power soaker. Um, but now the super soaker water gun was introduced in 1990. It's racked up more than 1 billion sales oh. according to Forbes magazine. I love that we always talk about Lonnie inventing this in particular, but he also worked for NASA. He is responsible for so many incredible advancements in space technology. He's an aerospace engineer. He has done it all. He's a genius. If you read his Wikipedia, you are just in awe. But of course, it's a you know children's toy that we yeah. <laughs> recognize him the most for. Right. Children well, a billion dollars in sales. Yeah. Not too shabby, Lonnie. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, the next one is Mary Van Britton Brown. Now, Mary Van Britton Brown, um, a long time ago, invented what is now the modern day home security system. When crime rates began to affect her community, Brown grew fearful of answering the door. So her and her husband started to think about how can we make ourselves feel more safe? Thus, the home security system was born. So she devised the first one. It was equipped with four peepholes, a sliding camera, television monitors, two-way microphones, and a panic button to notify the police of any emergency. In 1966, Brown filed the patent uh, for her invention and received approval three years later in 1969. It is um, often given credit and her and her husband have been given credit to make way and path the way for all the modern um, home technology systems we see today. Fantastic. And I mean, obviously ahead of our time in the 60s, thinking about this and incorporating all yeah. aspects, the camera, you know, notifying police, that, that's, that's a big deal. 
Yeah, her and her husband had two kids. Norma, her daughter, also an inventor. And I love this too. They lived in Queens their whole life. Um, anyway, uh, the next one is Charles R. Drew. Charles Drew was a prominent surgeon, a medical researcher, uh, is given credit for a lot of advancements in medical technology, but blood transfusions being one that he was sort of the trailblazer of. Also, the storage of blood in large scale blood banks. He became the director, the very first director of the first American Red Cross their blood bank division in 1941. There he worked with the US Army and Navy and helped medics save thousands of lives during World War II. Hmm. Yes, thank you, Kara Kinnear. Welcome. It has been a wonderful month honoring these incredible uh, people who've made such an impact on our lives. We so, so appreciate it. And there's so many more, so many more. We didn't so get to them all, yes, but that will wet your whistle maybe.